We're tracking more spring like temperatures, at least to start the week, but we've got some uh, changes on our way as we head into February. But how about this for the final morning of January? Looking down 10th Street downtown this morning, 29 degrees, a little bit of a south breeze right now, so making it feel like 20. So a little chill in the air. Most temperatures 20s to around 30 right now. I see 30 Plattsmouth, Shenandoah here at around 615. Wind chills, 20s, even some teens. Feels like 19 in Harlan, 18 Atlantic, 19 in Nebraska City. South breeze right now, fairly light. Where you're getting those wind speeds, 5, 10 miles per hour, that's where we're seeing some of those wind chills dip. But the uh, wind will continue to pick up by around lunchtime and through the afternoon, gusting 20, 25 miles per hour. That's going to lead to a warm up. So appealing layers kind of day. Heavier jacket, you need it in the morning. But by the afternoon, we're seeing temperatures mid, possibly even some upper 50s. Here's Storm Predictor, 7 o'clock starting off the day, 20s, still in and out of some of those higher clouds. By lunchtime, into the 40s, 50s, out to our west. Now, mid to upper 50s possible this afternoon, and we could see spots Lincoln, York, Columbus hit 60 degrees, especially Columbus and Norfolk, a little drier air there. Increased risk for some fire danger, so it would avoid any of that burning, but still going to be a very mild evening before cold front comes through. That's going to bring the northwest wind and start to bring some chillier air in as we head toward the midweek. But right now we've got this Pacific air, some higher clouds moving through Nebraska and Iowa. Storm system here in western Canada, that's going to bring some big impacts through parts of the Midwest Tuesday night through Thursday. Winter storm watch is already issued from Kansas through Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, up into Michigan and likely significant snowfall potentially up to around a foot between Kansas and our uh, Kansas City and St. Louis and then maybe just south of Chicago up toward the Detroit area. So significant travel impacts Groundhog Day Thursday, but the northern edge of this, it's likely going to be a sharp cutoff between seeing snow and no snow as that cold north wind brings in some dry air. I think it's going to be hard for us to get any accumulation here in the metro, possibly get some flurries, but Basically, Nebraska City to the south. I think that's the better chance to see accumulating snow in our viewing area. Beatrice down toward Falls City, Maryvale, Missouri. So bigger impacts the farther south you go. We'll still see the cold impacts from it on Groundhog Day. Wind chills at or below zero most of the day. Thursday morning, very possible we could see those wind chills drop 15 to 20 below zero in the morning before we see those temperatures start to rebound into the weekend.